Hey there guys, it's Dr. George here from thehealthybear.com and today I wanted to talk a little bit about a subject that really freaking pisses me off. So to, to kind of give a bit of a backstory to this, just this week I was talking with a colleague about what you know what you could do with regards to gay men's health and it came up with the idea let's do a topic on gay relationships. Um, unfortunately the first thing that my colleague decided to talk about was monogamy versus non-monogamy and I have to say I am so freaking tired of this conversation and the reason is because it denigrates gay relationships down to purely sexual that's all gay people do is apparently have sex and here's the thing is that um, that kind of creates a divert a um, dichotomy so you're either for monogamy or you're against monogamy there's no even mix within there and here's the thing is that the gay relationships are all very different so say for example my relationship within um, the context of our relationship we discussed and in a very sane clear and kind caring way and we decided that we would be non-monogamous now according to the variety of different opinions that I've been given, sent and emailed is that my relationship is invalid. It's purely convenient and that we just happen to be nice little flatmates because we're not in a real relationship if we're not exclusively having sex with each other. But here's the thing, we also do other stuff apart from sex like I have a job. Nick, my partner, he's got some wonderful volunteer work that he does and he's also on a committee. We have two dogs that we look after and we really love and care for. Um, we have friends that we like to socialise with. Um, shit, what else do we do? I travel and do talks. Um, you know, we like to get together and talk about computers and we do all sorts of crazy stuff. Perhaps sometimes we cook, sometimes we clean, sometimes we even have to actually walk the dogs, clean up the poo in the garage and all that sort of stuff. And here's the thing, is that when your life is solely about having as much wanton sex as you can possibly get, it's not easy fitting all of this other stuff into our lives. But we do. And that's the thing, is that guys, relationships are not just about freaking sex. Guys, I have got the man in my life who I want to spend the rest of my life with. Nick is my best mate. I love him to bits and I would never ever replace him with anybody else. I hate to think that the mere idea that because occasionally we choose to have sex outside of that relationship in a way that we both agreed, in a way that we both do caringly for each other and we do in a way that shows mutual respect, I hate to think that every other aspect of our relationship is suddenly invalid. Now guys, I'm never going to go beating up the people who choose exclusive monogamy. Good on you. If that's how it works for you, fantastic. As long as you're both happy and as long as everybody is feeling cared for and valued. Um, I'm never going to demigrate that. But guys, please, relationships are all different. And with this whole gay marriage and all of this sort of stuff, ultimately, all the people can come up with is that it's all about the sex and it's not about that. Gay marriage for me is about equal opportunity to the law. Um, that's what I want out of it. I actually want the rights that straight people have, that married people have. And guys, let's not make it a debate purely about sex because it's not. It's about being in love with somebody and sharing your life with them. That's my thoughts. What are yours? Please feel free to leave your comments below. See you guys. Bye.